Liberty Athletics has announced that a new indoor practice facility will go up here in the near future here on campus. And here to tell more about it is Athletics Director Jeff Barber. And Jeff, when you go and develop in these types of facilities, what's the timeline of, okay, here's what we want and getting the finished product before steel is erected? Well, we've just been looking at other facilities, seeing what's really important, uh, trying to, this has been going on for two or three months now, just looking at the height of the ceiling indoors, you know, you want to be able to punt the ball in there and things like that. So it takes a few months to pull all those things together before you're ready to really drill down on your own facility. And it's one of those facilities that is not only for football, but all of the NCAA Division One sports will be able to use it. That's correct. Uh, football will have its first uh, first front rights on that, obviously, and it's right here by the FOC building. So it is an opportunity for baseball to come in and throw and softball. We won't be they won't be hitting in there, but we have other sports as well, whether it's lacrosse or field hockey or track or tennis or any of them can come in and run and do some things in there. So it's going to be a facility that'll be used a lot, and um, it's going to be really important to our to our future. And if you notice around a lot of facilities on campus here, aesthetically looking they all want to look the same and so there's challenges and uniquenesses of doing that with this facility I know that's something we're working on right now. There is you know uh, an indoor football facility is it's about 95,000 square feet and uh, typically you see these as large butler buildings and because it's going over the grass practice field right on the main entryway into campus uh, we couldn't do that and wouldn't want to do that so so there will be a lot of glass uh, there'll be a lot of brick uh, it's going to be a beautiful facility and it'll be one that we'll be really, really proud of. When you've gone back and looked at some of the renderings and some of logistics of what's going to go on to make this happen, what have been some of the challenges of trying to fit it into the space? Well, just that, just fitting it into the space. Uh, you know, when you build a facility like this, it's there to be used in bad weather. So if the team is on, on a practice field and then the NCAA limit of eight miles of a lightning strike happens, mm -hmm. they have to come inside and sit in the locker room. Now they can get straight into the, into the practice facility. So you need it close by. If you have ice, if you have snow, if you have a bad storm, you don't want to have to go half a mile to go into the facility. You ain't got to bust people over. So the, really, the the only logical place was here right by the FOC. We looked at the practice field, the turf practice field, and we also looked at the grass, and the grass just made more sense. There was just a little bit of room. It is going to be tight, but it's going to work out really, really well. Look at some of the renderings. There's going to be a plaza out front of it off University Boulevard. Do you kind of sense this being a gathering place on game day? I do. I think it's going to be probably the most popular spot on campus on game days in the future. I think it'll be a, a place where people will hang out and they'll, you know, just be together and can do events out there. It's going to be a great spot to uh, to to have an events before games. And as far as the timeline, Jeff, what can you tell us about when it will be built and when it might be completed? Well, we're hoping to, to get the building started in January. So uh, there's a lot of work being done right now uh, by CMA, by our, by our folks on campus. And um, it's about a 12-month build. So we are expecting at this point to be able to get in it on January, in January of 2017. All right. Exciting stuff, Jeff. We appreciate the time, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you much. That's Athletics Director Jeff Barber talking about the new indoor practice facility coming up here for Liberty Athletics.